we are doing uh, silage bales on uh, all of these contracts that we're trying to get complete today. And uh, yeah, if we can complete these, then we're going to end up with a really, really decent amount of money. Uh, aim is to get, well, actually, we should end up over 30,000. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm. We have got quite a lot to do. It's November. We really want to kind of get everything cleared up before winter now. So we're going to be working towards that today. Uh, now to do that, what we're going to have to do is actually get uh, some contracts done and finished off. We're going to finish off the second bailing contract we've got. And I've actually got my eye on a third bailing contract. So we're going to take this out. We're going to get that started and uh, we're going to get the field 42 cut with this. Uh, we then have another bailing contract on field 38 for 9,300. There's one on 36 as well. Um, so if I can get these done, this is going to bring in a lot of money for us. And the advantage of this is that it will then allow us to buy a new piece of equipment that people have actually suggested I get hold of. And uh, and that could make a fair amount of difference on the farm. Um, and that is a forage wagon. So, that's what we're looking uh, to do. I found a forage wagon mod that isn't too expensive uh, and should fit into our farm fairly well. And we only need, you know, a uh, not a huge amount to feed our sheep anyway so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do we may even try and get ourselves a hayloft in the long term but first uh we do need to get this stuff cut so we are gonna unfold the mowers is this hooked up fully no there we go check this is hooked up uh yeah that looks hooked up so unfold those ones switch to the rear unfold those ones oh that was all hooked up yep that is all hooked up so unfold unfold there we go right uh so yeah we're gonna get this field cut and uh and then i think we'll take on that other contract and try and get that cut as well because if we can get through these today uh we should be in a pretty good position that is lowering the back ones and not the front one again. Let's lower that. Lower that. And away we go. Getting this field cut. Round the headland twice. And this should be a lot quicker to do this. This time compared to last time. Because we're not... Uh, we're, we're not having to row it after we've gone through and done all of the uh, cutting. So should be fairly quick to do this round. I have realized that we have all the equipment that we need to do a load of hay contracts if we wanted as well. So we can pretty much take on any contract we want here. I am not going to be doing too many i think it's going to be a case of however many i can fit in on this day we're gonna do uh i just want to get as much money in as possible if we can get enough to get a baler that would be even better but our baler i think is let's have a look in here to get a baler that we might want which would be this one uh, is thirty nine thousand. whereas what we are aiming for is get this. This little uh, Boucher uh, forage wagon should be pretty good for us. Should meet everything we need. And we're only needing hay to feed the uh, sheep. So, yeah, that should, that should work perfectly on our farm. Just to collect that up. And then we can put a pile of hay in the, the, the shed. Or, alternatively, we can get a hayloft and, uh, and put it into there. I think one of those, if we have a look in the construction, uh, that would fall under silos, I think. There we go. 63,000 for a hayloft. So, um, yeah, 
We might be able to afford that uh, in a little while. Uh, all in all, uh, though, we should be pretty good. Right, let's get back on the front. So, yeah, it will cost us more overall to have the Aloft. But I don't think we need anything uh, more complex than that. However, if a baler was to turn up in the shop uh, when we come to get the uh, forage wagon, uh, I wouldn't say no to picking that up as well. That would work out fairly well for us too. Yeah, this is definitely massively quicker than last time we did this field. We are just zooming through it. I didn't think it would be uh, that much quicker than the other piece of kit we were using. But having said that, the... Uh, that that big mower, the big M, that does allow us to do the same thing as we're doing with this crosscut. You can use that to, to win row as well. Something I do wonder is whether you could take these rows that both this and that create and go and run a tether over it and how far it would actually spread those. I know in previous versions of Farm Sim, uh, you could get away with then bailing it up with a lot of balers. Um, but on here, I kind of get the feeling everything gets really spread out uh, when you throw a tether over things. So I don't think it would be quite as well uh, or would work quite as well on this if you were, if you were to do that. Uh, but we're not worried about that because we are doing uh, silage bales on uh, all of these contracts that we're trying to get complete today and uh, yeah if we can complete these then we're going to end up with a really really decent amount of money uh aim is to get well actually we should end up over thirty thousand. that baler is suddenly not looking that far out of our reach last couple of rows to finish this off and yeah, fairly simple. Round we go. And one tiny little bit. Still is uh, too wide for this. Uh, but it's half ten in the morning. So that's really good. There we are. I'll turn that off and turn that off. And because I'm trying to minimize the amount of uh, faffing about we're doing, based on the fact that we were doing an awful lot of that faffing about last time, uh, we are going to go ahead straight over here and see if we can get to one of the two other fields that I was talking about. Round it up. We've got a roadway here. See, there's our field of bales that we can't yet deliver because all of our machinery that we're working with at the moment comes from that field. We want to come over here. So we've got 37 and 38. I think 38 is the contract field uh, that's available, whereas 37 is not. Let's have a quick look in here. Yeah, 38 is available. So uh, we're going to accept the contract on that, uh, which puts that just over there. Uh, we kind of need these contracts anyway, even with the excess it'll give us, um, in order to make the amount of money that we want to make. Unfold. Um, because otherwise, uh, we, we're not going to cover the cost of the equipment that we've got here. Turn on. Turn on, drop down, move forwards a bit. There we go. And then drop the back down. And yeah, this is a nice long field. So not a lot of mucking about trying to get things uh, or trying to do lots of turning around. We might be able to just keep going around this and looking at the sides of this field. How far can we go over? before that complains that's really good we got quite a lot of extra grass on that bit the other thing of course we'll have from these contracts is quite a lot of excess bales uh, with having to deliver around 80 percent of the bales on each field 
Uh, that's that's a good 20% on each one that we'll be left with. Uh, should more than cover the cost of the equipment, to be honest. Um, I am I am intrigued to see where we're going to be. One one thing to note, though, of course, is we can't sell the actual silage bales, the excess silage bales, until after they fermented. So that is still going to be a slight delay on the money from those. Um, but like everything else, you know, we got December coming up, and December is a really good sales time for most crops and silage bales and, and everything like that. So at the moment, I'm expecting us to do fairly well next month. Uh, I don't know. It might be worth... I'm going backwards and forwards on this. It might be worth us actually just renting the baler today, getting that job, uh, getting our field bailed up with that, and then seeing where we are later on. We're not going to need a baler or or a pickup until uh, next year. Or, or the other thing is, we've got the pig yard. How much is our pig yard worth? Because we're not using that. So our farm is somewhere over this way. There we are. There's our farm. And this is our pig uh, area. So we'd lose this shed and that. Uh, 21,000. Actually, that's really good. I'm, uh, yeah, the sooner we sell that, the better as well. Would create, yeah, that would be everything. Uh, would create a really good area for us to put, uh, a hayloft in order to store this. So, yeah, I think that might be something we have to have a look at going forwards. It would certainly be a different way of doing things. As I hope with this field, we've got some nice long rows to play with. And uh, that we are able to get cut. And uh, bailed up. And uh, yeah, means that we've got less turning to do. It does get a little bit fiddly towards this end of this field. But... Not much I can do about that. It's the angle, really, that it finishes off at that makes that a bit more difficult. We could have gone across the field, but I don't think that would have made it much easier. So we're going to end up with some shorter rows towards this end. But certainly we've got some big, long rows uh, along this side. And we're going to get our final long row here. We've also managed to go fairly well over the edge on this field uh, last time we were doing well not last video but the the uh, uh, way back um there was a little bit of criticism for not going right up to the edge of the field and to be honest that was the last field we we, we or the first field we cut today and uh, and yeah i tried keeping as close to the edge as i could it's not always obvious on the fields on this map uh, for example, a couple of places where I've gone well over the edge, there is, it, it's not obvious, um, like uh, down the side there, you can see the, the row to the left there, that is well over from the, uh, from the edge of the field, and then further down, we've got a tree smack bang in the middle of the field, so it's not always easy to keep uh, into the field or or go out of the field but we'll uh, we'll see how we uh, we go and uh, and hopefully we'll get some extra bales uh, from here that will bring us in a little bit more cash this though is where it gets fiddly I think that last little bit down there that is gonna have to be done as uh, well a bit going across here because there's no way that that's going to be an, uh, an easy bit to do in length going the direction that we are at the moment. And we go, and in. There we are. But we might have to get a little bit smart with it in order to do that properly. Up. Round. 
And it's 20 to... Or it's... Yeah. A little bit worried about the time. I'm just going to cut this end bit off. Make a very small row there. And then that will allow us to come here. Put that down there. And then we can get everything in with this last one here. Perfect. So, I don't think we could do more than two fields today. We'll turn those off and turn that off and lift it up. Fold everything up. And somebody did say last time, oh, you should have left everything down at the field. Uh, and yeah, I think they're right. We, knowing that we were going to be doing or thinking of doing the other field, we probably should have left it all there. Can we take this road back to the shop easily? Where are we? We are, I can't easily see where I am. Field 52, facing that way. Okay. So we can head down here, I think. Oh yeah, we're heading along here. It's not the fastest way back, I don't think. I think we could have caught across country. Um, but yeah, we're going to take this back up to the shop and uh, get this replaced for the baler and get these two fields bailed. We're back down to field 42 with the baler. Unfold this. Turn it on. Away we go. And of course we got exactly... Uh, the number of bales off here. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do anything like that this time. Uh, I think we might... Well, we can be a little bit more... Or a little less worried about it. But... Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we'll need every single piece of grass off here. I know a few people, it was a little anxious to do that. And, uh, and yeah... I, I don't really want to be running around the field, especially when we're under such a tight, tight limit, a time limit. Um, I don't really want to be running around the field trying to sort that again. I think any way I look at this, we're going to be able to afford quite a bit by the end of next time. Uh, we certainly here have um, these contracts to finish. We've got, uh, we're going to have a really decent amount of lettuce to sell as well. Um, so, yeah, I think the lettuce on top of this should give us enough to buy a baler. I want to, I want you guys to let me, I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Which should we go for? Do you think we should go with the forage wagon and uh, picking it up and putting it in a uh a hay barn or do you think instead maybe we should get uh that galini baler and go that route instead i really want to know what you guys think i don't think we are gonna get to the point where we're gonna have to make that choice today so uh yeah let us know in the comments and uh and we'll uh we'll see where we end up then in uh sunday's video I forget this time of year it gets dark so very early and we are oh i'm thinking so i was saying i don't think we're gonna get to bail our own or, or bail or collect our own hay today um however i'm not even sure we're gonna be able to collect up all of the silage bales off here we might manage to get everything if we're lucky, uh, wrapped. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to be hunting bales in the dark. And um, we've still got all of this, or probably about a third of this field still to go, along with uh, an entire second field. I don't know if that was the best choice to go with. Um, we shall see, though, as to whether we actually manage to make. Uh, make it to, to collect or make it to wrap, uh, let alone collect all of these bales today. Uh, it doesn't go as fast as you think it does. I think I may have uh, overcompensated for last time's disappointed, disappointment and bitten off more than I can chew. It's 
20 past four. We are just coming to the end of bailing this first field. There's not a huge amount of grass hanging around. There's a little bit. There's a couple of patches like up this top corner. I'm just going to grab. Uh, we are not far into the next bale, though. So it's going to make sense for us to head straight over and uh, and do that i want to unload this bale oh these bales that we've got here though off the back there we go off you go there we are and uh, and head over to our other field i don't think we're going to get much more done other than bale it though i think we're going to be wrapping and collecting next time to finish these off um, which I want to do fairly swiftly. But yeah, definitely bitten off more than I can chew today. I want to remember that I can only really get one of these bailing contracts done in a day. Trying to do two is just way too much. Getting dark now as we reach five o'clock. Not too difficult to follow these rows and get all of this... Uh, bailed up the problem then is going to be finding these bales in the dark so as i was thinking uh it's it's not gonna be possible for us to get these wrapped today we just missed way too many bales trying to do that so we're gonna get this all bailed up uh we'll uh, we'll get this finished and then next time what we'll do uh, is we will go round and we will get all of these bale, uh, all of these bales wrapped, and uh, and then we can complete these contracts. What I'm going to try and do though, is as we have three fields, and as we've had our the first field we did, the one that all this equipment comes off, uh, has been wrapped for a couple of days. Those will be silage bales. So best thing for us to do is to wrap this field wrap the other field that we've done today deliver these bales to our sell points first complete the contracts with these bales and then sell off the silage bales from that first field uh, should work out well for us i think uh want to give that a try and uh, and see where it goes from there should make us the most amount of money from these three contracts so um yeah that's where we're gonna try and do it and that's yeah that's how we're gonna try and do it so we're gonna get this bailed up how much longer is this gonna take is it gonna take us well into darkness or uh can we get this done just after the sun has set and it's coming up to half past six i believe this is our last row it's rather difficult to tell because yeah it's dark and um yeah there's no more to the side of us here so we've only got two percent that's actually brilliant we almost got an exact bail so we can unload those off the back uh we'll fold that up uh and yeah that means that we'll uh, need to get all of these wrapped up and delivered next time and we should make quite a bit of money um, because we have that field full of silage bales uh, that we can deliver last um, and that will be fully fermented for that to happen. Uh, unfortunately, though, it is too dark for us to try and find all these bales around these fields now. So we're going to have to leave this now and pick it up next time. That means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.